Craig guys good morning so before we get into the topic of this video um, you know there there's a bunch of things I just love about having my own home gym now but I'm gonna share a couple things with you that I, I, I love about this okay uh, the first thing I really like about having my own home gym is uh, when I get done working out and right after I have my protein drink guys I can pour a cup of coffee that's oh, so great Mm. So, good morning. I hope you have something uh, good to drink, good cup of coffee. You know, the other thing I really like about having my own home gym is right after I pour that cup of coffee, I can go right over to there and start reloading some ammunition. And so, I love it. I love it. If you're thinking about, um, you know, starting your own home gym, I highly recommend it. it it's the best. Okay. So, for this video, I want to share with the viewers um, just some of the reasons why I decided to go with the Olympic uh, rubber grip uh, plates by uh, Lifeline Fitness. Um, and then I want to talk about the different uh, types of plates, like we have bumper plates, we have cast iron plates, we have rubber grip plates, you know, what, what are they about? So if you are wanting to start your own home gym and you don't know, you know, what you, which way you want to go, this will help you to kind of just kind of pull all that apart, okay? And then I'll show you a few of the plates, and I'll show you some things I really like about them. All right. So in the description box below, I will put two links. The first link is to the uh, actual plates that I'm going to show you and talk about in this video. Uh, you can check them out. Um, the other link will take you to the half rack by uh, Lifeline Fitness. Uh, you know, one thing I'll tell you in this world where we can get online and order whatever we want, you know, usually when we order something and get it, it's not what it looked like when we were looking at it on, online, you know. It's not that way with, with this uh, rack by Lifeline. So, um, check it out and follow my channel because, you know, my goal uh, with the, kind of the change up of my channel, the direction I'm going on the YouTube side, my goal is to begin um, showing the equipment that I'm going to uh, bring into my gym, showing the viewers how to use it, and most of all, motivating those who... You know, guys, I'm just a regular everyday guy. I love to work out. I'm just a gym rat. That's all I've ever been. But if I can motivate and help people, uh, hey, guess what? That's my job, right? So, all right, here we go. So, first off, before I uh, tell you why I went with uh, these uh, rubber grip plates by um, uh, Lifeline Fitness, let's talk about the different uh, plates that are out in the market so you kind of understand what you're looking at. So there's different plates out there. Um, one type of Olympic plate, and we're talking about Olympic here, okay? Um, uh, one type of Olympic plate would be the cast iron or the steel, you know, the plates that we've had uh, ever since uh, you know, I can remember back, you know, back in junior high and high school, you know, all the way through the decades of working out those, you know, uh, the uh, the steel plates, those are king because you can't break them. They're going to last forever, right? So that's the first type of plate we have. But here's kind of the drawback to those. This is why I didn't go with those. I don't have, I don't have my flooring in yet. And um, I'm not going to have it in for a little while because, uh, well, one thing, it's about the money. And two, I really want to research my options before I just go putting my platform down. So I knew that if I got the uh, steel plates, it's a huge risk of hurting the concrete, you know. Um, but, but here's the thing. We always think of, okay, hurting the floor. Um, dropping uh, steel plates, uh, uh, you know, that's hard on a bar. That's super hard. If you got a good bar, you want to take care of your bar, okay? So, um, for, for the cast iron, one, hard on the concrete. 
to I don't have a platform, just not ready for it. Um, and of course, you know, even if I have a platform, that's hard on a bar. So for me, the, the cast iron wasn't really the best way to go. Okay. So then we have bumper plates. What are bumper plates? Bumper plates are designed to be dropped from above heads. Okay, at the highest maximum height possible to come down slam and uh, it doesn't hurt your bar it doesn't hurt the platform the floor now I'm going to say this um, I'm not talking about someone that's uh, you know, if you've got a concrete floor that's what I'm talking about if you're in a uh, apartment dwelling or something uh, that's a whole different game changer there okay but I'm saying if you have a good concrete floor um, certainly a platform um, is a bonus and your bumper plates that's that's going to um, save your bar okay that's like the best it can be um, and so bumper plates when we think of those we think of uh, you know dropping from overhead we think of when we're squatting we can drop off the back roll and, and, and drop uh, it's not going to damage the bar it's not going to hurt it. it's going to bounce and stop right but also things like working to exhaustion, been over barbell rows, you just want to release it and let it go. Um, you know, uh, thinking in terms of that, that's where the bumper plates come in really handy, okay? Um, so bumper plates, there's different, for bumper plates, there's actually different purposed plates, if you want to call it that. And I'm not a pro, it's just kind of what I know. Uh, you have the competition, you know, and they're color coded so you know, you know, how much weight's on the bar from a distance. Uh, there would be training ones, just typical training, or bodybuilding, uh, whatever. Um, then they have the crumb, the, the uh, crumb bumpers. Those are uh, recycled rubber, super durable, um, great option. And then you have, um, they're called like uh, technique. Uh, what they are, I believe they come in um, five and 10 pound weights, so I could be wrong. And they're just really light and they are for proper technique for people who are in rehab trying to get their strength back, okay? And so, you know, if they drop those because they're trying to get their strength back, then eh, nothing hurt, right? So, um, so that's bumper plates, okay? Um, so that's a great option, okay? But they're not cheap, all right? So then that leaves us with the rubber grip. So, you know, I didn't know anything about Lifeline Fitness. I'd never heard of them, and they're a great company. I, I totally recommend them. Um, the products I've purchased through them are top-notch. Customer service is top notch, um, and uh, the product is better. It, it, when you get it, it's like it's better than what it looks like online. Okay, so I knew nothing about Lifeline Fitness. I, I had been researching all my plates. What, where do I want to go? Well, I will tell you um, why I went with the rubber grip plates now. So the first reason I went with rubber, the uh, rubber grip plates by Lifeline. Uh, fitness is number one I wanted to protect the floor um, because of the rubber coating you can't bounce these you, you don't want to let them go and bounce that's that's not the idea here okay the idea here is as an example if I'm doing been over barbell rows or T rows I want to set them down I can I'm not gonna not gonna chip that that uh, concrete. Now how I do it is right now for my GM I have two big rubber uh, they are mud flaps off of semi trucks and I set those down and, 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 and I can set my weights on those okay and I'm very conscientious on how I set those down but if something happens when I hit the concrete I'm not gonna hurt it okay there is a chance you're gonna hurt that rubber plate so keep that in mind okay um, now, the second reason that I went with them was because of space. Now, um, when you're working, putting your home gym together, we all have, you know, 
uh, different uh, situations. Most of my shop is guns and reloading. I've got my equipment, and so I have reserved over here this spot. And I've been working on this for four years. It's just really coming together nice, but I only have so much room. Well, so over here, if you notice, um, I have this built into the backdrop of my shelves, my, one of my reloading benches over here. And I only have so much room to get into my uh, plate pegs, to hang my plates. If I went with a bumper plate, um, for proper posture of getting into the, these, that would be pretty awkward. I'm going to end up probably hurting myself, okay? What I like about the bumper plates, the advantage I have is it's super easy. It's just too easy to, to grab them and put them up and then pull them and load the bar. Uh, easy to get to, okay? And I don't mind the the reach like that because for me I look at it as part of the workout. You tighten my abs, you know, pro proper posture. So I like the fact that I can just grab them and reach in and store them. I really like that. And if I, even if I had more room, I just like the fact that I could just grab them anyway, just like a, uh, you would off of, uh, you know, you're at the gym, you're wanting to pull this cast iron plate off, you grab both sides and you know, you do your thing. So I like how I can grab them versus a, a bumper plate, okay? So um, the first reason, protecting the concrete. The second reason, ease of putting them away. Now the third thing I really like about these is um, eventually I want to get into kettle kettlebells, right? But right now that's, you know, it's about this. So what I like about these is the way you can grip them, you know, it's like um, you have uh, a little bit of a kettlebell um, going on here, right? So um, one of the things that I've done for years, in front of me, where you can't see, I have two five gallon water bottles and they weigh right about um, 45 pounds. They're five gallons, okay? And so what I'll do is like, I'll be doing a workout, like let's say an example, I'm doing um, triceps. So in between um, my sets on my triceps, what I'll do is while I rest, I pick those five gallon water bottles up and I walk for say 30 to 45 seconds. Okay. I come back, set them down, take a quick breath, do my next set. Once I'm done there, I pick those back up and I go on that walk for another 30 to 45 seconds. So it's a great workout. So now I can use these. Um, there's exercises I do with my 5 gallon water bottles that I can't replace with these. And there's exercises with the kettlebells that I can't replace with these. But there are exercises I can do with these that are a built-in benefit. So that was like the third reason I went with these. I really like them. Okay. So um, now, one of the reasons I went with these is uh, because of cost. But I didn't want to make that my, my number one. I didn't want to make like cost being the factor, okay? Um, I apologize, guys. I, I just have to do this, okay? Because you don't want to let coffee get cold. Hmm. That's good. Dark roast Costa Rican. So, the deal breaker for me with anything is that the value for my money is not there. So, I didn't look at these like, um, okay, what's the cost? I looked at the pros, okay, like the, the pros that I've listed off to you. But then you look at those, you say, now, what's the value? And I looked at uh, what was out there. I looked at the cost of so much equipment. Then I looked at the reviews, 
and then I really was looking at the individual plates, individual companies, and I found that the the value for what Lifeline has, it's awesome. The value for my money is there. I like it. So um, that's what made me decide to go ahead and order my plates, okay? So I love them. So I'll let you guys know this. So on the last video, just previous to this, when I received my half rack, when I received that, I had uh, bronchitis. I still have it. But I have been working out, even with my bronchitis, I've cycled through two full body workouts, um, you know, just the best I can because it's so fun to work out. It's like, you know what, I'm going to do it, right? And um, so I've cycled uh, two, two complete body workouts through this now in a little over a week. Um, it's a great setup, okay? So with that minimal time and using uh, the equipment, I'll tell you something I really like about all of this, okay? So, one thing um, I really like, let me, let me show you one of these. Um, I'll show you this up front, up close. This is what they look like. And they're really top notch. Okay. So, the, uh, the stainless steel insert, when I saw that online, I thought, well, um, what's that going to be like? Is that just going to slide right off the bar, right? It should go on easier, but is it just going to slide right off? Because when I, um, when I bench press, I don't use collars. I don't use them. Because if I'm benching by myself and I get kind of a compromised position where I can't get the weight off. And I just slide it off and kind of fall into the floor and then lift my bar up, get up, and I'm up. Okay. But when I lift, I'm very um, I'm very particular about my form. So I've never had an issue with weights sliding off. Okay. So when I saw these I thought, well, you know, with that um, With that inside uh, stainless insert, is that going to, you know, slide off that collar like butter? You know, what's it going to be like, right? Well, it's not that way. It's not that way at all. When you put them on, they glide right on. It's really nice, just like a steel plate. It glides right on there. But they don't. They don't walk on you. They stay right there. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Slide on easy, but they stay. Okay. I'll tell you another thing. I, I really like about them. Um, so, you know, I'm strict on form. I, I'm strict on that. I always have been. And um, sometimes. You know, you go to the gym, and you're benching, and it's off. You, you can tell it. You know you're dead center on the bar, but something's off. Well, so I have a new bar, also from Lifeline Fitness. I'll show you that on the next video, okay? Um, I'm going to show you everything. As I go through this, I'm going to show you all the equipment, right? And you know what? I'm going to show you uh, moves that I'm figuring out on this uh half rack with resistance bands and weights and everything so follow along my channel it's going to be good but um uh so i noticed right out of the bat benching on this or curling their bar is really nice and it's perfect and those weights are perfect so uh yesterday i thought i'm going to weigh all these plates now i don't know i've never weighed plates i don't know what the standard is, but when I weighed these, I got the scale and I weighed each one gently on the scale. These are 45 pound plates, but what they weighed was 44.5, 44.5, 44.5, 44.5, 44.5, and then 45. 
there was only a half pound difference between uh, any of those on one plate. The rest all matched perfect. I said, man, this is amazing. Well, there's value for your money, right? So um, I began grabbing the tens. It was the same way with the tens and the twenty fives. So when I ordered these, I ordered the four hundred and fifty five pound plate set, right? It comes with six of these forty five pound plates. So you get six of these. You get um, here. I'll just show them to you in order. So you can see them. Then you get two of the 35s. Get them up here and show them to you. There's the 35. So you'd get two of these. So six of the 45s. Two of the 35s. There's our our quarters. They're super nice. Then what you'll get, you'll get four of the ten pound plates. There's the ten pound. They do a nice job. Okay. You get four of the five pounds. Then you get two of these bad boys. Okay. There's your polish. Okay. So, um, uh, so, six with the 455 pounds, you get six 45s, two 35s, two 25s, four 10s, four 5s, and two two and a quarters. Okay? So, now, where does that put me? So, for me, it's like, okay, so now I have my rubber grip plates, right? Um, I still plan on getting bumper plates, okay? Because, um, you know, okay, so I started working out when I was 14. I'm 58. I don't slam the weights around like I used to. I would like to tell you that I don't slam them around, but I do. We're always going to. If you're going to work out to exhaustion, then you have to um, equate with that, that you're going to slam some weights. It's a natural thing. If someone tells you, oh, you should never slam your weights, that is so wrong. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, okay, so weight is king for muscle, right? And form, it, you need good form, right? But those have nothing to do with slamming your weights, right? People that, oh, you, well, you shouldn't slam your weights. No, you should have the proper weight so when you're ready to slam, you can slam away, okay? So that means that I am going to go with bumper plates eventually. Um, how much... You know, I, I don't know. Um, so, eventually, I will go bumper plates, okay? So, I will, you know, there's another really cool thing about these. I didn't mention this, and I should. Um, I figured this out. So, um, and I'm always figuring stuff out. New moves and this and that. So, you got to follow along. But, um, I figured this out. So, you know, I like to do my my uh, T-bar rows. I have this this bar. This thing's a beast. It, it's just a big beast and it's just a cheap bar. It's nothing special. But I do my um, uh, T-bar rows on this. But you know, one of the things I like about these, and I figured it out, T-bar rowing, is you know how, okay, you put a 45 pound plate on and you come up to the pool. Okay, I'm all about proper form. 
Part of proper form for me on the T-bars is coming back as far as you can pull it in there. Well, uh, on um, an Olympic uh, steel plate or a bumper plate, those are like 17 uh, point seven inches, something like that, diameter. These are only 15, five. These are two inches diameter smaller. That means, you know, if you divide the difference there, center of the hub, like on a lift kit, if you put um, a two inch taller tire, the vehicle will be one inch taller. You understand that? A two inch taller tire earns you one inch in height. Well, uh, our disc here is two inches smaller. So that earns me one more inch of pull. So what's cool is uh, not that I can do this anymore because I'm getting older, but when I used to stack that bar, the collar, with 45s and come up, you'd hit your chest with those 45s, and you always felt like you could go a little further into that. Well, now, the other day, I stick one of these on there, and guess what I'm doing? I got another inch to pull, baby. I'm there. So that's a cool feature on that. If you think about it, you know, for strength and mass, weight is king. So I can get more weight on a bar now with these than I could with bumpers, for sure. To get more weight with bumpers, I'm going to have to increase my bar, right? And um, uh, steel weights, <laughs> you can, they're just, that you're going to be able to stack a lot of weight on there, but because these have a smaller diameter, I can pull them in closer, okay? So I just uh, thought I would throw that in there. So, um, guys, that, that's about, about all I have on these. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, uh, you know, when you look at a purchase online, you know, from the, the viewer side, there's a lot there. We don't know what it's going to really be like when we get it. We don't know how it's really going to perform when we get it. Uh, but so far, just over the week I've had these, these are um, they're really uh, top-notch. It's great equipment. Now for me, my direction, I just need to keep building with everything that I want to bring together. And hopefully over time I will come up with a, a good floor plan. Um, and uh, as I grow, I'll get into some bumper plates. So, And as I bring all this on, I'll share it with the viewers. And um, uh, as I get rolling, I will certainly uh, do videos showing different moves, um, you know, um, posture, form, um, how to set resistance bands up properly how to come in at certain angles for, for, for certain moves, for certain muscles. So follow along because I've got really good stuff. And the thing is, is I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a power lifter. I'm just a regular everyday guy. And uh, if I can share something with someone else and help them, then my job's done. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, so hope you have a really good cup of coffee. If you haven't lifted your weights yet, make sure you do. And if you don't have your own home gym yet, start thinking about it. It's taken me four years to get mine rolling. And um, so, you know, I mean, I'm just going to show you this, okay? I mean, oh, well, no, I, you can't see it because it's covered anyway. So, um, here, hang on. I don't want to be rude. Hey, and just so you know, I'm not one of these guys that are, does all this crazy, really cool editing stuff. I don't do that. No. Those are my, those are my, my uh, dumbbells. You know, home homemade quality rack, but it works. It works. You know, and so uh, I started that like four years ago, maybe even a little longer than that, because. I, I wanted to have my own home gym for a long time, you know. So, um, and the benefits of your own home gym is just, it, it, it's so awesome. It's, it just puts everything on a 
whole different level for you. So, so there we go. Guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. And don't forget to drink your protein drink uh, within 20 minutes after your workout. And if you have your home gym, you can literally do that within minutes. And I'm out.